Hi, I'm Dr. Mohan Kumar, consultant uh, interventional cardiologist working at uh, Columbia Asia Hospital, Sarjapur Road. Treatment of the pulmonary embolism depends on the clinical presentation of the patient. So, it, when the patient is uh, immunodynamically compromised, like blood pressure is less than 90, then we may need to use the medications called clot busters where we to dissolve the clot which is formed in the pulmonary arteries. So if the patient is hemodynamically uh, stable, then uh, we must use uh, parenteral anticoagulations like uh, aparin, low molecular weight uh, aparin or uh, pondoparinox. So once the patient's uh, clinical condition gets better, we will shift the patient on uh, oral uh, anticoagulants or uh, blood thinning medications. If the patient uh, has a obstruction of only a small branches of the pulmonary artery, we might uh, treat the patient on uh, OPD basis only on uh, uh, newer uh, oral anticoagulant uh, medications. Apart from uh, this specific therapy, we need to give certain uh, medication to support the uh, lung. So if the patient uh, oxygen content in the blood is less, we may need to use an oxygen. Sometimes we may need to use the ventilator to support the lung. And uh, once this uh, uh, period of uh, acute uh, treatment uh, is completed, patient will be put on oral anticoagulation medication for minimum period of three months. In some patients, we might uh, put the patient on lifelong therapy of this oral anticoagulation to prevent uh, the recurrence of pulmonary embolism and uh, deep vein thrombosis.